Tyres for competition use on electric touring cars, one tenth scale. Uh, some new tyres around for 2018. Um, at the moment, uh, for some years, competition uh, cars have used the XG32RY made by Sorex, and it's been a very good tyre indeed. Um, but uh, the, some of the other manufacturers have brought out some tyres that they also think could be used in competition. Um, this is set by Rush, Sweep and Volante. And the Rush tyre, at the moment, as far as I know, being tested is the RU0450, which is um, also used in Japan, the Rush Japanese Nats control tyre. Uh, the Sweep tyre is one of their uh, fairly recent range, which they do lots of compounds. This one is the EXP 34R2PG. I believe they do um, 24, 30, 36 and 40 in the range. Uh, and then there's the um, Volante tyre. Now this uh, Volante tyre is pretty new out. It's the version 6. Uh, previous ones have been version 5. Uh, this is the V6 TPG 36R. Now the 36 normally refers to the hardness of the rubber. Um, the Sorex is a 32. Uh, the Sweep is a 34. And as far as we know, uh, the Rush one is about the 36. Now, um, as I said before, the Sorex has been a class leader and been used for many years in competition racing, outdoor asphalt. In, in cold, hot weathers. Um, how will these others perform? Well, I haven't uh, run any of them, but we can look at the construction and size and everything to see how suitable they are. And I've done a number of tests. Uh, besides, uh, you can weigh them. Um, you can measure the various sizes of the wheel and uh, also include in the depth of the hex on the back. Uh, and uh, look at the sidewalls etc. Uh, you can get some feel of the rubber itself uh, before you go and race with it. You can check uh, how the sort of air gap and the feel. Uh, where you can check the wheel if it's flexible or not. Uh, for instance the Sorex one was quite a flexible wheel. And um, also I can test with this uh, gauge the relative hardness of um, almost the, which measures sort of the air gap and the hardness of the insert, and you can get some indication also of the variation with that. And I uh, can measure the size. There's, there's this uh, tape which goes around the wheel and gives it accurate uh, diameter. Anyway, I've done all, all that. Uh, you can also spin it up. Uh, if you want on uh, on something like that to see how much it vibrates um, generally they will vibrate that one's not too bad some of them can vibrate badly uh, but um, that's another thing you can do before or after you've run it uh, sometimes they get better after they've been run sometimes they get worse so Anyway, I've, I've done uh, all of the measurements and um, I've recorded them on the on the chart here and the Sorex Sweep, Rush and Volant. And looking at the results, the size and weight. Well, um, it's interesting that the Sorex was 124 grams and all the other three are 128 grams. A small increase in weight. I'm not quite sure where that is coming from, but uh, it's not that significant. Size. Um, they are all just under 65 mil measured with that tape. Uh, the Sorex was fractionally bigger, but after you run them, they'd probably be near enough 64 and a half mil, all of them. So I don't think there's any significance in the size. Um, the wheel itself. It's interesting that the uh, Sorex wheel is quite flexible. The all dish wheels, 24mm wide, of course. Uh, the other three are all very hard and do not flex at all. Um, another difference is that Sorex has one large hole 
in the wheel on the inside to let the air in and out and all the others have um, a tiny tiny hole that you can't hardly see there's normally two one on one side one on the other side and they've all got that hole tiny tiny holes so it just has one hole um, now the wheel also one thing you can measure with the wheel is the uh, diameter of the actual face of the wheel which, where it's and then where it's glued to the sidewall um, which will give you a slight variation in the sidewall um, the design of the sidewalls some are seeming slightly more sharp on the edge whether that's significant or not some are slightly more rounded anyway the wheel did vary slightly in diameter uh, Sorex was about 52.2 Sweep was biggest at 53 Rush 52.1 and the Volante was 52.6 so there's a very small uh, difference in the wheels the gluing uh, they've all been very professionally glued indeed and the Sorex one I think he's glued uh, uh, assembled over here you can see a little bit of glue but we know that they don't come off at all so all the gluing looks very professional done I don't see any problem with them coming off the rims um, now markings on the wheels uh, all the wheels have markings on the Sorex is in Japanese uh, the Rush says Rush Rush as you'd expect the Sweep says it doesn't just say sweep sweep it says sweep and on this side it looks like I E X P um, so that's slightly different and the Volante says Volante Volante the actual tires themselves markings on the sidewalls well um, the Sorex we know has uh, on one face the outer face it says um, Surrex made in Japan and on the inside it says 32RY somewhere on there and um, the sweep has got quite a lot written on it it says sweep on the on this side it says sweep uh, EXP EVO dash R and there's also a, a marking D65 and it's got 34 molded on the inside the, the Volante that says um, uh, just Volante here and 36R there and uh, there's nothing on the inside wall at all the Rush one um, there's nothing on the tire walls on the inside or the outside so you don't actually know uh, what the compound is um, tire inserts uh, a couple of them tell you what the tire inserts are. The Sorex uh, says it's a yellow insert on the on the header card, and you can actually see the yellow through the hole. And it's um, it's like a, a fairly medium to soft uh, feel to it when you squeeze it. Um, the sweep says it's um, a medium soft EXP S pink. It feels medium soft. Uh, the rush we don't know what it is uh, but you can see it's red through the hole you can see a red color through that little hole there and it feels very hard when you when you squeeze it, it feels hard um, the volante you can't really see anything through the hole though it might be black uh, and um, it feels uh, it feels quite hard actually um, now while I'm squeezing it you can tell there's a big air gap. The Volante has a very uh, big air, air gap indeed. Uh, can squeeze it up quite a lot. As is the um, original sweep tyre has got a, a big air gap. Um, the rush tyre, a uh, reasonable air gap. Um, and the, uh, was it the sweep? That was the Sorex, the sweep one yeah not not so much the air gap does vary I'd say the sweep one was um, uh, smallest the smallest of, of the three 
So sorry, so I've got a large air gap. Sweep small. The rush. Um, yeah, it feels small when you just squeeze it. And the Volante, I would say that was like a, a, a large gap like the Sorex one. So, yeah, that air gap's going to make a difference when you're running it. The tire will move around and heat up differently. Um, what else? Well, on, on this side, you've got the hex. And it's interesting that the depth of the hex varies quite a lot. The depth will enable you to fit um, a, a shallow depth maybe to fit a thin hex on your car and get a narrow track in. So just checking that um, the original Surex uh, one was a uh, hex depth was um, 4.2 millimeters, quite deep. Uh, the sweep is the deepest at 4.4. That's quite, quite a significant uh, gap. And um, the rush uh, is basically uh, three millimeters as is the Volante, uh, two point nine nine, say three. So they're both both shallow. The Rush and the Volante. The wheels. They look. Uh, these have got spokes and little round parts there, but they're not the same wheel. Wheel. These 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 little round reinforcing bits are quite large, and these ones are. Uh, actually recess and cut out and the color of the wheel this is um, very white and this one's a bit off-white and also you can see looking at the wheel that um, this one's got quite a large flange compared to the to the rush one so that's that um, and finally uh, you can look at the tire itself the seam in the middle uh, a lot of people cut it off if it's quite large. Uh, I think it varies from batch to batch. But um, looking at this, these, these ones, uh, the Sorex one is uh, the seam is um, is pretty much uh, insignificant. You wouldn't have to cut that off. Um, and the seam on the, the Volante one is is sort of a medium. You probably want to, if you're really fussy, you remove that. Uh, the sweep, uh, that's like the Sorex, that's pretty insignificant, you wouldn't have to worry about that. And uh, the Volante, actually, um, I cut this one off, it had a very large seam, uh, but I did remove that. The feel of the tyres, well, um, in your hand you can tell that some of these are very rubbery, and if you, if you try them on the table they stick very well. except for the, the Rush one, which seems to not stick quite as well. It feels, doesn't feel as rubbery, it feels a bit slippery. So, the conclusions, well, um, if the Sorex is a 32, it's the softest out of all the four tyres. Um, next comes the Sweep, it's a 34 rating. The Volante we know is 36, and we're not quite sure what the Rush one is. It says, um, oh, it says on, on, on the header card, it says it's a 36 VR2, so I think we can assume it's a, a 36 as well. Um, so that's the state of play. Uh, they need to be run out in some competition at all at the same time and same track on the same day and it's interesting also to note that um, the Sorex has been used in all classes 17.5 up to modified and it's and all, all temperatures cold to pretty hot and it's performed very well in all classes whether or not um, some of these are especially the rush would work in the lower power class at like 17.5 turn and on a cold day whether you could get enough heat in that I'm not sure um, I would say the sweep's going to do well um, the Volant tyres um, a 36 again it uh, until it's run in all uh, classes 75 and mod you can't tell how well it's going to grip in all the classes 
also the construction uh, we know some tires can fail in modified for instance when they're over revved uh, there's no visible imperfections on any any of these tires you can't see the belt join and you can't uh, even on the Sorex, which we know they've had sometimes a few belt join problems you can't see the join on the, anywhere so um, they're all looking uh, well made so that's the state of the play um, all the results I have here um, I've done this test fairly quickly so um, I've tried to put down as much information as possible <laughs> the sweep gives you on the label <laughs> gives you loads and loads of information about wheel the insert and everything that gives you the most inf information um, the Volante and the Rush they give you basic info uh, notice that the Sorex is made in Japan and it, the Rush says it's made in Japan as well the Sweep and the Volante say they're made in Korea it could mean that they're actually assembled from Korea they may not actually have the tyres made in Korea they could be made somewhere else so um, that's the results and um, it'd be interesting to see over the next a period of time when they're used outside because these tires have only just become available uh, how they get on in testing and whether or not people are going to prefer them to the Sorex tire